What's up, YouTube? Brand new channel here, Rippin' Clouds. <clears throat> Just started this out, had a bunch of other channels. Uh, couldn't get the names changed, long story short. Brand new channel, just for vapors, just for you guys. Uh, we're going to be doing tutorials, reviews, all that good stuff. Everything you need to know. We're going to be doing first looks, all kinds of crazy stuff. Big shout out to New Life Papers here in Naples, Florida. Uh, local shop. Uh, their number and their address will be attached in a link in below down here right here um, but first we're gonna be doing a review today on the smoke magneto mod mechanical um, pick this up online for 40 bucks not a clone legit real mod uh, let's take a look at the packaging that it comes in uh, I, I mean I walked in the store and I, I really wasn't looking to buy anything, but um, I just saw it sitting there in this little case all lonely, and it looked, it just, it was screaming, please buy me, please buy me. So I finally, uh, you know, I pulled the trigger on it, and I'm not disappointed at all. It comes in this little case all, you know, sad, telling you to buy it just like that. It looks all petite and small, and looks like it pumps out good vapor, and it does. It's ridiculous. This thing is, this thing is badass. So the stainless steel won't rust on you got some weight to it so you can like you know leave in the club back in your back alleyway use it to hit people in the head and it'll still work um, came with a little manual here it is came, comes with a little manual um, I believe one side Spanish I don't know it says Magneto twice I guess anyway yeah just tells you like basic stuff got some pictures in there for people who can't read I guess um, it's really just push the button on the bottom that's it now we're gonna get up close and personal and start taking this thing apart get some light up in here this is the actual mod itself got your nice little engraving if you can see that right there smoke front got some nice air channels if you're rocking a pro tank too something along those lines got plenty of airflow little spider on the bottom of it this is the version 3 I believe uh, uh, some of the versions do not have the spider on the bottom of it or the engraving like this uh, right here you can see it says I don't know if you can see that but magneto 1939 this is a great mod. Listen to that. Look at those threads. So smooth. Yep. Here's the top part. Breaks down like that. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. That's better. Then this part splits off. Look at that. Look at that. That's nuts. The threads are so perfect. They just glide. That's how sick these threads are. Not crunchy at all. This thing is perfect. This tube kind of takes a little while to get out because it's pretty long. If it's an 18650 battery, this tube seems fragile, but it's not. It's stainless steel. And it's good grade stainless steel. So, I mean, even this thing is not going to bend at all. If this, this particular tube feels really, really light, but um, it's a sturdy little guy. Trust me. And then you've got your magnetic part. Spin the lock off. Again, can't even hear those threads barely. And your magnets are just chilling down here like that. And that's pretty much the entire mod. It's real simple. I mean, there's really nothing on it to break. You don't have any springs. Um, it's all pretty much, you know, screw together one piece. Here's the inside of the top of the, the top piece. Got a little adjustable screw there that you can move in and out. I usually keep mine full up, all the way up. And this little piece right here, you do have to be careful because when you are locking it, this piece inside 
this little brass piece with those two notches on the side will spin and it'll allow the button to travel down further so you get more of a throw on it but I have it adjusted all the way in so it's not that big of a throw well I mean it's still kind of a, a long throw but uh, let's throw a battery in it and see how it looks with the 18650 battery goes on the top since to get the magnet set up in the bottom of it like that Oops. La, 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 la. throw your little top piece on screw it down Get rid of those threads, those ugly little threads. Take your top piece. Almost forgot how to put it back together there for a second. Don't know how. Whatever. Screw that on. Get that nice and smooth. I'll take this out a little bit. That nice and tight. The first time I tried to do this, I dropped it because the magnets push and they're actually pretty strong. So I was, you know, I was just messing around, threw it back on because I thought the magnets were only in this piece and not in this piece as well. So I went to go throw it back on and it kind of like flipped out of my hand. So be careful of that. I mean, they're they're pretty decent, pretty decent magnets. So it's got a good solid button push on it. The button is nice and smooth. I haven't had a problem with it yet no crunchy it's it's it slides in and out real nice if you know what I mean anyway yep nice good solid button haven't had any misfires with it real easy to push with the with the middle finger or the pinky however you want to do it some people shoot them like this like little syringes but it's you know whatever it works great Let's see how she babes. okay get all my focus back throw my little uh, dripper on it I got that offline too I think I paid 10 bucks for it this is the best dripper I've ever had in my life and um, it was 10 bucks I have a uh, I've got a clone dripper as a matter of fact that I paid 80 bucks for and it's a clone an $80 clone call me retarded whatever but it's a good clone and this thing still blows bigger clouds than that although I do have a hundred percent or not 100%. I've got a, a 70, 70 30 mix of PG in here, PG dominant. So it's not going to be so great. But, oh yeah. Your little top of the box that it comes in. You know, it's whatever. <sighs> oh, and um, this is how I fill my dripper. So I can't wait to get pulled over by the cops and have this in my backpack. And they're like, oh. What's this, buddy? What do you got here? Got a little needle? Looks like heroin. I'm like, oh shit, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. Anyway, let's get a uh, rip skis out of here. Yeah. Only thing I don't like about this little dripper right here, like I said, I'm going to do a review on it, is the damn coil is right next to the air hole, and you can't move it since it's a screw on dripper. So it just kind of like pours fluid out the side of my air hole. It's pretty spectacular, I'm not going to lie. Whatever, it works though, and it was 10 bucks. <laughs> That's rough. L listen to that mod though. Burn the shit out of some coils. This battery is at 4.2. There is absolutely, I love this mod so much because there's no voltage drop. What you put the battery in here is what's going to be put to your coil. So if this is if this battery is fully charged at 4.2, you're getting 4.2 volts. There's no loss throughout the system. So for 40 bucks, I'm pretty sure for 40 bucks, this is the best authentic mechanical mod you're gonna get yeah you can get clones all day and they work silver contacts okay I don't got a problem with that but there's no voltage drop in this I tested it I put a 4.2 battery in it 4.2 volts came out of it so that's how you get that right there I'm cooking shit this dripper is about done I don't know what's wrong with it but it's definitely not hitting right blowing clouds with it all day and now all of a sudden it just kind of wants to whatever on me 
Alright, I see how it is. It's what I get for paying 10 bucks, right? It's coming now. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews. Uh, this was more like a first look on the Smoke Magneto mod. Uh, really like it for 40 bucks, you can't beat it. Uh, I can't say that enough. If you're trying to do sub ohm, this is perfect. Perfect for sub ohm because uh, a lot of the variable voltage mods, yeah, they're great because you can, you know, change the voltage on them. Anyway, they won't do sub ohm unless you get like a really, really good one. Um, and that's going to cost a lot of money, like more than $80, more than $100, more than $150 is when you're starting to get into the stuff that will fire like 0.5 or 0.2 on a, a sub-ohm tank like this. This is 0.5. And my SVD by iTaste won't fire it because it's too low. My, um, my iTaste MVP won't fire this because it's too low. Uh, as a matter of fact, on the SVD iTaste, it um it, it just says N O N it won't even tell me what the ohms are. Same with the S V D. But if if you want to start getting into sub ohm tanks such as a dripper like this or a Jenny style that's running sub ohm, then I definitely suggest and you don't want to spend a lot of money, then I definitely suggest this mechanical mod because you can run whatever the hell you want on this thing, it's gonna fire no matter what. There's no safety mechanism. So don't put the battery in backwards. Because if you put the battery in backwards you're going to have a bad time. Real bad time. So, you know, best bang for your buck if you if you want to go mechanical. I mean, this thing this thing rips pretty good. 0.5 ohms. Ripping clouds. Come on. You guys already know. My little gripper on there. Yeah, like I said before, you know, shout out to New Life Vapors, starting up their their business, um, working there lately. They're getting a bunch of new mods in, which I'm going to do a review on. They're getting the Nemesis clone, the Hammer Kados clone, Kados, Kato, by, uh, Hammer by Kato clone, the K-Fun clone, and the Kraken clone. They just got some MVPs in, so hopefully they'll let me do a review on the MVP. They get an SID. I'll probably do a review on the SID. Uh, I'll be doing a review on the iTaste SVD. Also, this dripper, the mini octopus dripper, the large octopus dripper, um, some various tanks that you might be skeptical about buying because they're $10. I have a lot of them because I was that guy. I was like, fuck it. Let's uh, buy a bunch of $10 tanks and see how they work and you know what 95 percent of them work better than uh, a more expensive version of a clone or the actual thing so stay in touch subscribe um, I'll keep you guys posted and that's all for today